Hello, I'm William, and this is a painting of a recent landscape painting. Um, I'm working gouache with it. Uh, I haven't worked gouache for a while. Uh, it's it's a fun medium. Uh, I brought gouache, it would have been last year, and I haven't used it much, mainly because I lost my very nice blight brush, which I brought at the same time. Uh, so really good to get into it. Um, I, I worked, I've been working oils quite a bit like over over the last two years so good to try like a different medium uh, this landscape that I've just working on the reference from it's actually a recent digital painting so interesting working from say a digital painting rather than working from a photograph all the time just gives it something different I, I I have a more of an understanding of the uh, the painting before I, I start rather than working from a photograph which is quite foreign especially if you didn't take the photo yourself so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just laying in this burnt sienna uh, over top of colored pencil that's already applied uh, this uh, it's just a, it's a, this the gouache is actually a base and I might intend to actually build up acrylics and oils over top of this but for now I'm really enjoying just the process of applying gouache to this, this piece of wood. Um, as you can see I've just just gone in with uh, some some lemon yellow uh, lighten it up this kind of the water area that that I'm working on at the moment with it but it's kind of going quite green so it's almost turning it into a field of some sort um, rather than being a rather than say a water uh, so a bit different like in the digital paintings that I've been doing uh, this would be blue and the mountains and such would be more of a yellow and red as you can see, I'm poor, uh, standing back from the canvas at the moment. Really important to stand back and get an over, overview of, of the work. It's, uh, uh, you can see a lot more if you're up close. It really limits your viewing space, so I think it's really important to stand back. Uh, getting, getting into the sky, uh, getting that blue in. It's, it's a nice dark um, ultramarine blue, but I'm also mixing in some of my ink to it because... Uh, I've got some cobalt blue ink uh, that I thought I may as well use up. It's an incredible ink. It's extremely concentrated, so beautiful to mix in with the gouache. Looking at this now, I, I feel the uh, the mountains are somewhat flat. Uh, this kind of I fixed this a bit later on in the painting, but for now I'm just concentrating on that sky and getting it down as quick as I can. Um, a bigger brush would actually be nice. I feel this brush is too small. Bigger brushes are always, always better, especially for uh, the initial painting. Uh, getting it down, it's it's far better to use a big brush than a small one. A small one you just covers covers no space. It doesn't hold the paint. Uh, big brushes are big brushes are the way. Uh, even this is quite an expensive brush, so. I couldn't really afford to get a bigger version of it, though. Uh, I'll see how I go. I may, I may pick up a bigger version at some point. Um, it's blight, uh, so it's got their flat properties, which I enjoy. Um, they didn't have a flat version of this type of brush, otherwise I, I would have gone with a flat brush. Normally, I prefer flat brushes, but blight's very similar. Um, you can see I'm uh, going in with with some blue into this yellow uh, on the ground uh, just to try and create some contrast and um, depth uh, within the, uh, the the ground for the mountains to kind of be at a distance. This painting actually uh, took me uh, 30 minutes in total. Um, 
but I've um, sped it up four times, so it's much much quicker to watch. Uh, I may uh, may release the uh, thirty minute version as well for anyone interested in watching the full length. Um, so you're still working on the uh, the ground, just basically filling in any areas that are blank. I'm not really too concerned about what I put in the blank areas as long as I put some colors in. It's just about filling it in as quickly as possible. Um, or trying to add as much detail in as possible. As you can see, I've just gone back to those mountains. They were really annoying me, uh, being so flat and everything. So I've tried to put in some, some darker areas into it in order to try and create some depth into it. Some of the uh, added to the sky as well, just to contrast into the sky, uh, more more blue and such. Kind of moving around the painting um, quite a bit. Uh, that, that's okay. Uh, find areas that interest me and work on that, and then switch to another area. But yeah, main thing is cover 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 the canvas and paint some drip action happening. I'm a big fan of those those drips, especially with the watercolor in it. They create incredible effects. Um, so, looking at the painting now, it's been it's been almost 12 hours since I've done it. The uh, it looks much more. The wet looks much better than than it, than dry. Um, it's 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 quite lost a lot of the. Uh, texture and feel that it had when I first painted it uh, but I think only building up layers and that will help getting back into the sky I'm adding actually burnt sienna into the sky just to give some different contrast to the sky um, this is actually coming towards the end um, of the painting um, although I, I intend to go back into this um, maybe not with Gourish, uh Maybe I'm not sure, but uh, definitely with acrylic and uh, with with oil paint, let's see what I come up with. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and I'll um, produce more of these, maybe even with my digital painting as well. Thank you. Thank you.